is not constant. XX0 VT1202. Constant acceleration, a special case. In many types of motion, the acceleration is either constant or approximately so. For example, you might accelerate a car at an approximately constant rate when a traffic light turns from red to green. Then graphs of your position, velocity, and acceleration would resemble those in Fig. 2 to 9. Note that AT in Fig. 2 to 9 C is constant, which requires that versus T in Fig. 2 to 9 B have a constant slope. Later when you break the car to a stop, the acceleration or deceleration in common language might also be approximately constant. Such cases are so common that a special set of equations has been derived for dealing with them. One approach to the derivation of these equations is given in this section. A second approach is given in the next section. Throughout both sections and later when you work on the homework problems, keep in mind that these equations are valid only for constant acceleration or situations in which you can approximate the acceleration as being constant. First basic equation. When the acceleration is constant, the average acceleration and instantaneous acceleration are equal and we can write EQ 2 to 7 with some changes in notation as AAVGV version 0 T carat 0 is the velocity at time T 0 0 and versus is the velocity at any later time T we can recast this equation as a b x position x 0 0 x t slope varies t slopes of the position graph are plotted on the velocity graph b velocity b 0 b t slope equals a 0 t Slope of the velocity graph is plotted on the acceleration graph. VV0 add, opening parenthesis, 2, 11, closing parenthesis, AT. Slope equals 0. As a check, note that this equation reduces to V. V0 for T0, as it must, is a verb. Fair check. Take the derivative of EQ, 2 to 11, doing so yields dv dt, a, which is the definition of a. Figure 2 to 9b shows a plot of EQ.211, the versus t function, the function is linear and thus the plot is a straight line. Second basic equation. In a similar manner, we can rewrite EQ to the 2 with a few changes in notation as VAB XX0T0 Acceleration C 0A T Figure 2 to 9A the position XT of a particle moving with constant acceleration v its velocity versus t given at each point by the slope of the curve of x t c its constant acceleration equal to the constant slope of the curve of v t and then is x x zero box 2 to 12 in which x zero is the position of the particle at t zero and that is the average velocity between zero and a later time t for the linear velocity function in EQ.211, the average velocity over any time interval, say, from t0 to a later time t, is the average of the velocity at the beginning of the interval v0, and the velocity at the end of the interval v.
for the interval from T0 to the later time T then, the average velocity is 2 to 13 substituting the right side of EQ.211 for BIOS, after a little rearrangement, 2 to 14 finally, substituting EQ.214 into EQ.212 yields 2 to 15 as a check. Note that putting T0 yields XX0, as it must. As a further check, taking the derivative of EQ.215 yields EQ.211, again as it must. Figure 2 to 9 as shows a plot of EQ.215, the function is quadratic and thus the plot is curved. Three other equations. Equations 2 to 11 and 2 to 15 are the basic equations for constant acceleration. They can be used to solve any constant acceleration problem in this book. However, we can derive other equations that might prove useful in certain specific situations. First, note that as many as five quantities can possibly be involved in any problem about constant acceleration, namely, xx0, d, t, a, and version 0. Usually, one of these quantities is not involved in the problem, either as a given or as an unknown. We are then presented with three of the remaining quantities and asked to find the fourth. Equations 2 to 11 and 2 to 15 each contain four of these quantities, but not the same four. In EQ.211, the missing ingredient is the displacement xx0. In EQ.215, it is the velocity versus these two equations can also be combined in three ways to yield three additional equations, each of which involves a different, missing variable. First, we can eliminate TTO obtained 2 to 16. This equation is useful if we do not know and are not required to find it. Second, we can eliminate the acceleration A between EQ.211 and 2 to 15 to produce an equation in which A does not appear. 2 to 17 finally, we can eliminate version 0, obtaining 2 to 18 note the subtle difference between this equation and EQ. 2 to 15. One involves the initial velocity version 0, the other involves the velocity bad time t. Table 2 to 1 lists the basic constant acceleration equations EQ.211 and 2 to 15, as well as the specialized equations that we have derived. To solve a simple constant acceleration problem, you can usually use an equation from this list if you have the list with you. Choose an equation for which the only unknown variable is the variable requested in the problem. A simpler plan is to remember only EQ.211 and 2 to 15, and then solve them as simultaneous equations whenever needed. XX0 VT12 XX012 T0 VT V2 V0 T2 A XX0 XX0 version 0 T1 2 A2 VAV V0 1 2 A VAV 1 2 V0 V Chapter 2 MOTION along a straight line table 2 to 1 equations for motion with constant acceleration a equation missing number equation quantity 2 to 11 VV0 at XX0 2 to 15 V2 to 16 T2 to 17 at 2 to 18 V0 Amaki sure that the acceleration is indeed constant before using the equations in this table xx0 vt12 2xx012 v0 vt v2 v0 t2 a xx0 xx0 version 0 t1 2 a 2 
2524 constant acceleration checkpoint for the following equations give the position xt of a particle line 4 situation stat phase 1x3 t4 2x5 t3 4 t2 6 3x2 t2 4 t 4x5 t2 3 To which of these situations do the equations of table 2 the one apply? Choose any initial numbers because we are looking for the elapsed time, not a particular time in, say, the afternoon, but let's stick with these easy numbers. We want the car to pass the motorcycle, but what does that mean mathematically? It means that at some time t, the side-by-side -side vehicles are at the same coordinate, XCFOR the car and the sum XM1 XM2 for the motorcycle. We can write this statement mathematically as 2 to 19 writing this first step is the hardest part of the problem. That is true of most physics problems. How do you go from the problem statement in words to a mathematical expression? One purpose of this book is for you to build up that ability of writing the first step. It takes lots of practice just as in learning, say, TAE Quan Du. Now let's fill out both sides of EQ. 2 to 19, left side first. To reach the passing point at XC, the car accelerates from rest. From EQ point to 15, with X0 and B00, we have 2 to 20 to write an expression for XM1 for the motorcycle. We first find the time TMIT takes to reach its maximum speed VM, using EQ point to 11 versus B0 at. Substituting B00, BPM 58.8 meters per second, and AM 8.40 meters per square second. That time is 2 to 21 to get the distance XM1 traveled by the motorcycle during the first stage. We again use EQ.215 with X00 and B00. But we also substitute from EQ.221 for the time. We find 2 to 22 for the remaining time of the motorcycle travels at its maximum speed with zero acceleration. To get the distance, we use EQ.215 for this second stage of the motion, but now the initial velocity is the speed of the NV0 VMTTM XM112 AMTM212 MVM M212 VM2 AM. 58.8 meters per second 8.40 meters per square second 7.00 TMDM of XC12 Act 2, XX0 version 0 T12 at 2 XC XM1 XM2. Sample problem 2.04 Drag race of car and motorcycle A popular web video shows a jet airplane, a car, and a motorcycle racing from rest along the runway 5.210. Initially the motorcycle takes the lead, but then the jet takes the lead, and finally the car blows past the motorcycle. Here let's focus on the car and motorcycle and assign some reasonable values to the motion. The motorcycle first takes the lead because its constant acceleration of 8.40 meters per square second is greater than the car's constant acceleration AC 5.60 meters per square second, but it soon loses to the car because it reaches its greatest speed VM 58.8 meters per second before the car reaches its greatest speed VC 106 meters per second. How long does the car take to reach the motorcycle? The idea is we can apply the equations of constant acceleration to both vehicles, but for the motorcycle we must...